Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very interesting topic for all of you who would like to customize your racket. So guys, if you want to customize your racket and you don't want to use a lead tape, but you want to use something really cheap and really easy to apply and really easy to remove, then stay tuned. You know, it, it's good for the sport, like that rivalry. Like I'm Nick Kyrgios and I'm a rival to Rafa Nadal. How? Like how is that possible? So guys, recently I did a video about Technifiber TFX1 rackets. And I was talking about the fact that the TFX1 300 felt really heavy for me. So I decided that in the future I will probably transfer to the 285 gram version. But at my very first clay match in, to, in this season, I played with the 300 gram version. And if you noticed in the video, I've had a tape, a bumper tape on the head of the record, on the bumper. And someone pointed out in the comments, I'm not sure who was it, but great, great info that the tape on the bumper can actually increase swing weight dramatically. And I was like, okay. So I will remove the tape and I removed the tape for my match and I played excellent match against a 20 year old guy, young guy, tall guy, around 195 centimeters tall, big hitter. And I played two and a half hours with the 300 gram version. I eventually lost. It was 623646. But after two and a half hours, I was still able to hold the racket really well because I removed the tape. So I was curious what the tape or how the tape uh, makes a difference when you put on the racket. So I made a test. But sadly, as I told you in one of my previous videos, I shot three videos in that day with my new wireless microphone. But sadly, I set up I wrong set I wrongly set up the microphone so the video was without sound so I need to uh, do it like this so I will use the picture or the video of the measurement just to show you what the difference is if you put a simple tape on your bumper so when I remove the tape from the TFX1 300 the swing weight was 321 points so which is kind of high if you if you take into account that the 300 gram version is mm, on the let's say similar level like the pure drive or maybe on a let's say lower level in terms of uh, the expectations of the racket so the swing weight is already pretty high at 321 points and after that I've put the tape on the bumper and I've measured the length of the tape and it was about 30 I'm not sure 33 or 35 centimeters sorry and the width and the width with the width of the tape was about three centimeters and at the first time I just put the tape on a scale and the scale showed me that the simple tape weighted around 2.8 gram which is kind of lot it's 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 about the weight of uh let's say let's say dampener or a heavier dampener because usually dampeners they weight about 1.8 gram to let's say 3.5 or four gram so yeah 2.8 gram is like an average let's say dampener but what happens if you put the tape there and I was quite impressed so I measured the swing weight with the head guard tape and it was 300 
and 31. So a simple head tape added 10 swing weight points and it makes sense because one gram in the tip of the head can add about three or four swing weight points just one gram remember one gram in this position can add three or four swing weight points it's a lot so if you put around three gram or 2.8 gram on the head it added 10 swing weight points so so the feel for the racket and the swing weight change pretty dramatically so 321 compared to 331 that is that is a big deal guys so you will definitely feel that so after i removed the tape i played with the racket really well so maybe in the future i will not switch to the 285 gram version but to the 300 gram version because it really felt really good without the tape now the great thing about doing this is that if you put the tape on the head you're putting it outside of the frame because usually when we add let's tape like here like i did for my racket i put it here on the frame itself on the lower part of the frame but if you put the tape like here you actually add the maximum of the swing weight because it's on the outside outside of the frame so it adds the maximum of the swing weight the pro players usually put it put the lead tape under the bumper so it is hidden and at the same time it really adds maximum of the swing weight so uh, great thing how to add swing weight to your racket it is really cost effective and what's great about the tape is that it is evenly balanced so the head is evenly balanced and you can put it all over your head or you can put it even up to the uh, nine o'clock and three o'clock place so nine o'clock and three o'clock and yeah it will add more weight and of course it will add also more stability to the racket so usually when we put let we put it here one stripe one stripe here and here and it can be actually uneven because there are missing spots where there is no let tape but this this tape is really evenly balanced for all the head so it is it is cheap it is easy to apply and it is very precise these are the great three things about doing it like this the downside is although that you need to remove the tape every time you restring your racket but is it a problem no you just remove the tape then you restring it and you put the old tape on the same place and you can do this like five times bef bef before the tape stops uh, sticking to the frame and after that you need to cut a new stripe and do it uh, once again but it i think i think it is not that expensive because you will do it few times in a season probably so guys this is a great thing how to customize your racket it is cost effective it is really easy to do it and you don't really need to think think about it too much because you just put the tape here and it's there and it's evenly balanced that's the, the probably that's the best thing that it is evenly balanced so guys you want to customize your record and you, do, you don't want to spend money for the lead tape or you don't want to fiddle with the lead tape cut the stripes into halves and and do it like this and one half here and one half there and maybe you are not sure if you are doing it all right just put a basic tape on the head the, on the bumper on the cover on the cover it's easy and you will do it like this and yeah and it works and it works so that's the great thing it works and it's really good so guys this was my advice how you can customize your record really easily with just a simple tape and if you like this video 
just click the thumbs up button i will highly appreciate it if you didn't for some reason just click the thumbs down button of course you can damn it but if you like my channel very much you can buy me a coffee my daily dose of coffee yeah i like it i like it i don't actually drink coffee every day but like five times in a week maybe yeah yeah sometimes i miss the coffee i skip the coffee because it's not always good but yeah when i have taste for it i just do my cup of coffee with honey yeah remember honey no sugar no white sugar no brown sugar yeah maybe sometimes brown sugar too so guys if you want to support my channel just buy me a coffee the link is in the description below this video and for today it's everything i wish you a very nice tennis day enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and i will catch you in my future video bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line